to My RC Life, where we do all things RC and a little bit of everything in between. Let's go! What's going on? Track this mic from My RC Life, and today we're going to do a quick video, do some plastic welding. As you can see, this body's kind of pulling through back here on the back side and the front isn't really uh, I got a crack right there and I got another crack here but I'd really like to get some more life out of this body I've already gorilla taped the inside and hit it with a heat gun so it's got that you know extra thick coating but yeah it needs to um, be a little tougher back here now I do have this new body for the techno and I could just put it on but I haven't got the gorilla tape put on the inside with the heat treatment yet running my heat gun on there so I don't really want to just destroy this new body and paint job so quickly you know I want to duct tape the inside of this one get it all nice before I start to run it so yeah we're gonna go ahead and try to fix this one up a bit now if it's just like a small crack like say right here and it didn't like have a body mount that would screw down onto it like this to actually hold it on. You can just go ahead and lay some plastic over it and fill it. But with something like this, it needs to be structurally sound. So you're going to want to get some of this stuff. And this came with my plastic welding kit. I think I probably want it to be something like that. So let's go ahead and just... Cut something out here. All right, this is what we're working with. I'm actually, you can see how this kind of comes up right here, the edge of this bed. I'm actually going to put a small bend in this and have it conform up to the side like that see how that is because the crack does kind of come up that way a little bit so probably be best to get it to conform in there as best as I can now obviously this isn't going to match because I don't have green filler but at this point it don't matter it's just a basher body now usually I run a tip that's got a hole in it and I use a round rod and you run the rod right through the middle of this tip but this is just gonna be a I'm not like mending a crack I'm actually just filling over this screen trying to make it stick you don't want to forget to clean her off you want your plastic to stick on there really good get your isopropyl clean off where that plastic's gonna adhere to now to clean off this side too because we're gonna be doing that side next all right I'm just gonna like I said this is kind of new for me so I am not a professional at anything I do if you're more professional than me and you know some tips and tricks, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'm just going to put a little bit up in the corners for now to try to get this thing to stick down. Trying to push the plastic through the screen so it goes down and touches on the body itself and will stick this in place so I don't got to worry about holding it with my other hand like this, like I'm having to do right now. It's starting to hold it seems like.
I'm just pressing it, squishing it down through the screen. And then kind of sliding it over. Yeah, just like that. I like it. I'm going to lay some here on the side. <sighs> Seeming hard to get uh, the very edge of this screen to conform right down on the body. Just because it's got that angle on it and it wants to just lift up. I'm going to wait for the plastic to cool down. See if it'll stick to the body or not. If not, it's okay because it's sticking good here. It seems like, oh, it looks like it's sticking pretty good there. Okay, looks like we got that side kind of good. Let's go ahead and cut out another piece for this side. I went ahead and made a up and then flat again. So maybe this one will fit a little bit better on the... Uh, side of the box here maybe See if we can start squishing her down through the screen here. Looks like it's sticking okay. Looks pretty good. Let's see if we can get a little bit more laid on the side here.
GoPro died, so I had to go to my phone. What I'm doing is I'm just kind of holding, sometimes after I melt the plastic on the screen, the screen will kind of pop up a little bit. So if I just hold it down and let it cool, it uh, stays adhered to the body more. I wish I would have had like an ice cube in a plastic bag because then I could rub it on there real quick and it would help it cool quicker. But a couple, three, four, five breaths on there and that'll uh, help it cool right down and allow it to stick. All right, now I just got a little bit of final work to do on the edges here. Just on the edge of the screen that I could see poking out a little bit. I can see the screen trying to pop up a little bit here. So I'll hold that down. All right, now that should be about all there is to it. On the underside, I'll go ahead and uh, just poke my holes back in with a small drill. Just like that. Now I see this side started to lift in this corner, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more plastic here. Okay, and that screen should help because now I got some more backing for when these nuts are on there rather than them just, you know, popping through that body. You know, got that screen on there. It's going to hold it a lot tighter. Well, I guess we could see how it fits on the old girl. Line up the front grub holes first. I actually, I think I'm going to have to go to longer um, grub screws on it. I thought about that and I ordered these longer grub screws. So we're going to go ahead and uh, throw these in there. See the difference in length? <laughs> Oh yeah, those ones stick out a nice little bit. I like it. I got these little rubber O-rings that go on there too. It helps the nut bite down on there and seat down and stay tight rather than loosening up from vibration. I want to make sure that these aren't just going to screw in there and bottom out on the nut. I think that'll be plenty enough. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that'll work. Oh, perfect. I love it. Push back on the body a little bit. Now, these ones don't have the plastic uh, added on. Screen and ABS plastic from the plastic welder added on there yet. So the regular length grub screws that stick out of there work just fine. If you're wondering where I got these, they're actually uh, body mounts for a Traxxas Slash. And you can modify them lightly and get them to go onto your Techno. And maybe other vehicles as well. Alright, looks like we got that all taken care of. Now it's time to go ahead and bash it and see if it holds up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We're this close to hitting a thousand subscribers. Uh, I want to say thank you to everyone that's watching these videos. Without you, this stuff wouldn't be able to happen. I'm Traxxas Mike from My RC Life, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching another episode of My RC Life. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.